In this video, we'll be looking for some another concept that is clipboard. Now, what exactly is a clipboard? Let me try to under, uh, make you understand in this. Now, suppose if I have some items on the screen, if you see on the uh, PowerPoint, if I copy this item and uh, uh, if I copy for three times, let's say if I copy first, second, copy three, and if I want to paste it, so the last copied item only will be pasted. So I'll just show you here. I'll keep my cursor on this place and click on this copy. Again, I'll click my keep my cursor here, click on copy and click on this third one and click on copy. And if I want to paste it, let's say I want to paste the first item, I cannot paste it. I can only paste the last copied item. So if I click on paste, you see, you see the last copied item is pasted again. But what if I want the first copied item? So it is very difficult. That time it comes in picture that is known as clipboard. So what clipboard does is clipboard uh, stores all the 24 items. That's the capacity of clipboard, all the copied items, 24 items. So how do I find out the clipboard? So you see there's a small, uh, you know, notation given here clipboard. So I'll click on this option here. So this is the place that's a clipboard, you know, empty space, which I can use. Now what I'll do is I'll keep on copying and you observe what will happen. So I'll keep my cursor and press control C or I'll just click on copy. If I keep my cursor on this place, on this smiley and click on copy, you see something is getting copied. One more thing, if I click on this cloud thing and if I click on this copy, you see all the items are getting copied. So now if I want to paste the first copied or second copied item, I have to just click on that copied item and uh, I have to click on this paste, this paste option. So once I click on paste option, you see the copied item is pasted here. Similarly, if I want to paste this item, just click on select this item and then you can click on paste. So you see that's a pasted item over here, right? So what clipboard does is it copies all the, it stores all the copied items at one place. What is the capacity of a clipboard? Capacity of a clipboard is 24 items. Now how come I know 24 items? Very easy. So once I copy this item, you observe what will happen at the bottom on the right hand side. Once I click on copy, if I click on copy, you see what is shown as five out of 24 items. That means total five items, five items are copied out of 24 items. If you copy 25th item, what will happen? The first item which you have copied will go out. That means first come first out. So first cop copied item will go out and it will keep on, you know, uh, getting collected in this place. Now, what is the beauty of this clipboard is it only doesn't work with the PowerPoint, but it works with all the MS Office applications. Now, I'll just show you how if I if I open here some other application, let's say I have here Excel, right? This is the Excel. Some uh, shortcut keys I've opened here. Now, if I maximize this clipboard here, also the same option is available the clipboard. Now, if you observe the copied items in the PowerPoint are been also in this clipboard. So all the MS Office applications share only one clipboard. Now what I'll do is I'll also copy this item, select the cells and I'll click on copy. So if you observe, I have copied this data and that has been collected into the clipboard and you see key shift insert left, key insert shift left. All these options are copied over here. So now if you observe here, that's a PowerPoint icon and this one is the Excel icon. So it also says this data is copied from the Excel and this data is copied from PowerPoint. One more example, if I open a Word document here and I have some data, I have some data. So what I'll do is I'll copy this data like this. I, I'll select the data before copying. I'll, I'll just open the clipboard. Same clipboard is shared again. If I select this data and if I click on copy or press control C from my keyboard, control C and you see the same data has been copied here and is the word icon is given here. Now it stores all the copied items, but also it paste. If you want to paste PowerPoint item into the word, still you can do that. How come? I'll just keep my cursor at this place. And if I click on this option, you see that it's getting pasted. If I keep my cursor at this place and if I click on paste, see it's pasting. So PowerPoint copied items can be pasted in word and vice versa. So I'll go back to my PowerPoint. Yeah, so I'll go back to my PowerPoint and what I'll do is I'll try to paste the data here, which I've copied from the Word document, click on this option. So that's the copied item, though it is not very, you know, pleasing to see this one, that data in this place, but yes, still you can get copied. So that is the option as copied. So what can be the size of the clipboard of one item? One item can be 40 charts, 50 charts. One item can be 1000 records in Excel. One item can be 500 pages in Word document. One item in clipboard can be of any size. So you can understand how much time you will be saving and also energy for again and again copying the item. So I hope you have understood what is the use of clipboard and uh, that's all for this video.